Welcome to a new video, welcome to actually the first tutorial from this setup right here. I'm still experimenting with the camera setup, the camera angles and the lighting and the sound and everything. So let me know what you think about this setup, this angle down below in the comments. And now let's start with the tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to censor faces and I'm actually going to show you three different ways how you can censor a face. The first way is to just pixelate it, the basic censoring of a face. Then I'm going to show you how to blur them and then I'm going to show you how to do this black bar in front of the eyes. Now let's jump right into the tutorial. This is a clip from my latest short film Social Death Work. In case you haven't watched it already, be sure to watch it by clicking somewhere up here. Just if you want, of course. I'm just going to use this as an example clip and now let's start with the censoring of the face. First we're going to need to duplicate our original clip. I'm going to do this by holding the options key and then dragging it up so we have a second copy of the clip. Then we're going to search for the mask effect on the right side down here and drag that onto the upper clip and now we can just use the pen tool to create a little mask shape around the face. Of course I'm just doing a rough mask right here but the more time you take the better the end result will look. So now once we're finished with the small outline of the face we search for the pixelate effect and also drag that onto our clip and now you can see we already have a small pixeling effect of the face but we can still see the face very clearly so we're just going to drag the pixelate effect up a little bit you can experiment with it but i think it's best around 20 or 25 so you can't recognize the face now if you want to have that over several frames of course you have to go to the draw mask and then select the control points and the transform options click on these little keyframe icons right here so you have a keyframe set for every single expression then we have to go forward a few frames, readjust it, go forward again, readjust it again, and then just do that over our entire sequence. You can of course also use tracking for this, but since Final Cut doesn't come with a tracker, you need an external plugin for it, or you have to use After Effects, but we're doing it in Final Cut, so you have to manually keyframe it, but for just pixeling a few faces, it's not that difficult. Now after we have done that for a few frames, we can watch it back and we see it will stick to the face. Now the second way to censor a face is not using the pixelate effect but the Gaussian blur. So I'm going to use the exact same mask. You of course also have to do the exact same mask and I'm going to turn the pixelate effect off and just search for the Gaussian blur, drag it onto our clip and as you can see it will work like a charm. You can of course also experiment with the settings, blur it less, blur it more and maybe expand the mask a little bit to make it fit the entire face. And now once we play it back, you can see it also sticks to the face and blurs the face so you can't see it. Now for the third way, we have to go to the generators tab and have to take ourselves a custom generator, drag that onto our clip and then trim it to the length of our clip. Now we have to select the custom layer, search for a mask again in the effects tab down here. Now we hit V on the keyboard to hide the upper layer so that we can see our layer below where we want to censor the face. Then we're going to take a shape mask drag that onto our custom layer and make it like a rectangular shape. So no round edges right here. Then we make it smaller so that it fits the face exactly. So something like this so that it covers the eyes. And then we want to have a zero at feather. It's normally at 90 when you use the effect, but we're going to set it to zero because we don't want any feathering. And then we can just hit V again, reveal the black layer and do our last adjustments, maybe make it a little bit thinner. Now, since her eye line is tilted a little bit, we could also tilt the black bars, but that's not really common, so I'm not going to do that, but you could do that just for your info. And then we just simply have to, again, keyframe it or track it to our scene. You could use the transform option since it's a rectangular shape now, or you could again use the shape mask, but this time you have to convert it to points first because we didn't use a draw mask, but a shape mask, just convert it and then you can use these drop down arrows to select these keyframes again. And now we can move forward a few frames, reposition it over the eyes, move forward again, reposition it. I think you really get the deal, it's just that simple. And once we have done that for a few frames, we can play it back and you can see it sticks to our face. And that's already it from this video. Those were three ways to censor a face. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more amazing filmmaking tutorials, tips and tricks all around the topic of filmmaking right here on this channel. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. And you can subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. That actually looks like a pretty good setup to link videos and the channel. I think I'm gonna keep this angle, but again, let me know what you think about it. See you later, goodbye.
oh no, I can't reach the camera anymore now. That's what I would always do. I have to stand up.